Yo, Sachan. Huh? Sachan? Uh, wait. You're not Sachan? It's nice to see you again, Kasuga-san. We met at Sunlight Castle, isn't that right? Wait. Are you Nanoha-san? But why are you here? Who told you to meet me? <laughs> it's me, Ichiban! Look closer, it's me, Saiko! Oh, so it is you, Sacha. If you can't see through it, then my performance must be good. I'm sure Katsuragawa will think I'm Nanoha too. Yeah, for sure he will. Even though, <clears throat> actually, I was just pretending to be tricked. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Anyway, I figured out where to find Katsuragawa. Nanoha's gonna pay him a surprise visit and tell him to hit the road. You're still coming with me, right? He's at his office right now. He said it was a consulting firm, but it's actually an illegal loan business. And his bodyguard and his employees, they were all in that shady biker gang he used to be in. Scum collects around other scum. Man, how did Nanoha get caught up with people like that? She might just be the kind of girl who's into it. Or maybe I shouldn't have butted into her life so much. You probably understand by now how bad I feel about all this. Hey, maybe it wasn't you. Maybe she's just the kind of girl who's into bad boys. Either way, let's go fix this for her. Time to take out the trash. Wait, what the fuck? Are you serious right now? I knew something was up with you. Showing up out of the blue like this. What's gotten into you? You realize what you're doing? I sure as hell do. I'm saying I won't give you any more money. Okay, but... And that means you have no reason to be with me, right? So we're breaking up. For good. Oh, come on, babe. Don't be stupid. It's not like I was going out with you just for the money. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. Just give me what you owe me. Right here, right now. What? I, I can't right now. I, I gotta throw two million at my company soon, or it'll go belly up. Sweetie, you know how hard I've worked for this. I just need a little more. You can pull in two mil back at the Soapland easy. Hey, man, I gotta ask. How much have you already borrowed from Nanoa? Hey, man, I gotta ask, how about you fuck right off? If she lent you two million on top of everything else, how much of that total do you plan on paying back someday? You need to crawl back down out of my ass, dude. This ain't none of your business. You don't know, do you? Yeah, you want to borrow even more. You're lucky Nanoha's not a real loan shark. I'm lucky because Nanoha and I are in love. Money don't matter to us, right, babe? This fucking tightwads. It's 1.3 million yen. That's the amount of money Katsuragawa-san has already borrowed from Nanoha-san. Hey, Yamashita, stay out of this. Nobody asked you. Uh, forgive me. It wasn't my place. No, thanks for speaking up, Yamashita. Good man. So, we'll be taking that 1.3 million back today. Who are you anyway? You're a real Yakuza-looking motherfucker. Maybe you're trying to take my girl's money for yourself. That's none of your concern. Give me back my money so I can be on my way. Nanoha, I love you. Come on. Remember what you said? How you always dreamed of what we have? Nanoha really loved you that much. We're perfect for each other. Honey, you're a sweet angel, and I'm the guy who protects you from all the bastards of the world. Oh, so that's the excuse you've been using for dragging her down. He's one of the bastards I'm talking about! Yamashita, what are you waiting for? Toss this guy out on his ass already! No. Haven't you done enough? What? What did you say? Sir, step back and take a look at yourself. You need to let Nanoha-san go. She's been working herself to the bone to support her father. She needs the money. And besides, you've got a bunch of other girls coming around anyway. What the hell are you doing? I'm doing what's right, boss. You can't just keep squeezing the poor girl dry. And she shouldn't have to work at no damn soap land. I can't just sit by and watch this happen to an innocent woman. It, it just ain't right. Yo, why don't you think about who you're talking to? 
I'm the guy who saved your ass when you were a zit-faced teenager, remember? So unless you want to go back to being everybody's little bitch... <laughs> Every time someone calls you out or wants to leave your ass, you just make threats? Are all your boys with you just out of fear? I bet they all hate your guts. Alright, I'm just fucking sick of you now. All of you, stop standing around with your dicks in your hands and throw this guy out! Yamashita too, you goddamn traitor! <laughs> Can't see I didn't see this coming. Well, except for Yamashita-kun acting like a real man. That was a nice surprise. No kidding. You know, I've been looking for an excuse to cut ties with him. Maybe it's even simpler than that. Maybe you just like Nanawa. Yeah, maybe that's it. Wait, you do, don't you? <laughs> well, that's great, Yamashita-kun. Kinda cute, honestly. Yeah, yeah, you'll both be real cute after I crush you into little pieces. I'm in. Show me what you got. Yeah. Please, stop hitting me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on, where's all that fighting spirit, Katsuragawa? <laughs> Don't tell me you've had enough. <sighs> Give back all the money you borrowed from Nanoha right now, and get the hell out of Yichincho. If I see you around town again, I'll kick your ass even harder. If you reach out to Nanoha, you won't have an ass when I'm done. Okay. Okay, I got it. Please, just let me go. <laughs> All right. I won't hit you again. I won't. Huh? You asshole. Don't you ever take advantage of a woman ever again! No! Wait, are you for real? This is Nanoha's sister? She has a twin? Damn. Sorry to disappoint you, Yamashita-kun. I know you probably worked up all that courage to look cool for Nanoha. Sorry, Yamashita-kun. No, that's all right. I mean, running him off still makes life better for Nanoha-san. That's what matters. So, you're gonna keep acting like you never knew she worked at the soap land? Yes, and this whole Katsuragawa incident never happened, okay? I am dead serious about this. Okay. But she's definitely going to notice that her boyfriend suddenly skipped town without saying goodbye. And it happened right after she got a phone call from her estranged sister telling her to break up with the guy. What are you saying? You don't think she'll figure out her sis had something to do with his disappearance? <laughs> I mean, it'll almost be too obvious that Psycho said something to make him leave. Whoa, now that you say that, yeah. That's fine, honestly. Can't really do much about it now, can I? But what if Nanoha gets pissed at you again? I thought you wanted to have a good relationship with her. Her happiness is my top priority. How she feels about me is secondary to that. It still kind of sucks if she ends up hating you after you did so much for her. She would have ended up broke if she stayed with that douchebag. 
You deserve some credit. I'm just grateful I can still talk to her on the phone. All I want is for her to be happy. Still... Huh. I could always tell Nanohasan it went down like this. Like what? I'll tell her Katsuragawa's firm took a nosedive and he bailed to escape all his debts. But I got him to leave enough to pay her back. That way she can get her money without knowing you two were involved. Take excuses. Telling myself it wasn't the right time. When I saw her... Well, saw someone I thought was her, demanding what she was owed. I knew the time had come. Sachan, you hearing this? What do you think? Hey, Yamashita-kun. Yeah? Let's say you're at a restaurant or a store. How exactly would you treat the staff? I... I just try to be as polite as possible. Even though people don't expect it because of how I look, it's still the right thing to do. Okay. Well, you pass for now. <laughs> Setting the bar for being your sister's squeeze kind of low. I said for now, didn't I? Huh? Don't worry. I'm still gonna watch over Nanoha from my big sister perch somewhere. So if Yamashita-kun turns out to be a total creep, then I'll just have to step in. Whatever it takes to make her happy. I get that. I'd want the same. <laughs> You're a good sister, Sachan. I'm sure Nanoha will eventually realize that. Hopefully sooner than later. Thanks so much, Ichiban. That's twice now you've helped me save my sister. I really am grateful, you know. I'm glad you're in my life. You drinking, Namba? Oh, Ichiban. I'm glad you're here. We need to talk. We do? Is it something serious? I need to tell you I'm sorry. For lying. You mean about chasing the counterfeit bill? Yeah. I think you can forgive me. Come on. You know we're past that. What's important is your brother got released. All's well that ends well. <laughs> That's a short version, but it's more complicated, actually. What do you mean? <sighs> You'll be the first person I've ever told this to, so... I hope you plan on sitting for a while. <laughs> oh, man. All ears. Back in elementary school, I read about Florence Nightingale. That's when I knew I was meant to be a nurse. Helping the sick, people being grateful for it. It's all I ever wanted in life. But when I finally put on my scrubs, it was different. Endless late shifts, difficult patients, never a word of thanks. Eventually, I just stopped caring. Little by little, I started cutting corners any way I could. I'd pretend not to hear the intercom, and instead, I'd go doze off somewhere. By the time I hit 40, I had no idea why I ever went into the field. Then one day, this new girl named Mizue showed up. And in her introduction, she brought up who else but Nightingale. Just like you, huh? <laughs> we had the same role model, but she still had her spirit. She would rush toward every patient in the ward. Never missed a beat. On top of that, she always had the sweetest smile. So, you had a thing for her. Are you kidding me? She was 23 and a looker. And I was just a middle-aged loser. Ever seen those old dudes walking around with hot young arm candy? You gotta be like those guys. Well, those guys also have cash to spare. Not always. If you could clean up a little and stay on top of the trends, I bet you'd be covered in ladies instead of pigeon shit. Wow. I can't believe you'd say that to my face. <sighs> but you're probably right. Yeah, anyway, back to Mizue-chan. What happened? Oh, yeah, that's right. Whenever I saw her working, I could feel my old self coming back. That young version of me, who used to give it his all. Well, that's a good sign. If only I had half her stamina and wasn't twice her age. Anyway, 
One night I was a little sleepier than usual, so I went out to the back lawn, thinking maybe I could sneak in a nap. And suddenly, I heard a noise from behind. I turned around to find the storeroom we keep the medicine in wide open, and Mizue-chan was walking out alone. Was she restocking? I mean, if you were slacking off, she was probably having to bust her ass. Well, that's the thing. In our hospital, only the pharmacists have access to the storeroom. Mizue-chan and I were just nurses. We didn't even need to go in there. And then what was she doing? Well, at the time, there was a rumor floating around the hospital. Uh-oh. Medicine would keep disappearing. The list never matched the inventory. According to the rumors, someone was swiping medicine and selling it. Illegally. No way. And that was Mizue-chan? It was. As my eyes adjusted, I could clearly see her arms were full of medicine boxes. But why would she need to sell medicine? From what I heard, her parents were under a mountain of debt. So, to lighten some of their load, Mizue-chan was paying everything she could. But a single nurse's salary wouldn't get them out of the hole. No way. So she was stealing the meds to do it? Yep. And I was the sole eyewitness. Thing is, Mizue-chan never noticed me there. Now, if it was you, Ichiban, what would you have done? Well, calling her out on it would seem to be the right thing to do. But... I guess she wasn't stealing it just to be a criminal, huh? Not in the slightest. She was only doing it for her family. I mean, yeah, she was breaking the law. But she wasn't trying to hurt anyone. Plus, getting caught would cost her her job. Then the debt would only have gotten worse. With all that in mind, I'd say it's a pretty tough call to make. Huh. Now you're on the same page I was. Anyway, in the end... All I could do was watch her walk away without saying a word. If there ever was a criminal who deserved a free pass, it was Mizue-chan. That was what I thought at the time. So I turned a blind eye. And? What happened after that? It wasn't long before Mizue-chan's actions caught up with her. The hospital director decided to get the police involved and started gathering evidence. He waited that long to take action? Well, he was trying to resolve it internally. Being that the hospital's reputation was at stake, I guess he got sick of having a thief under his nose. So he escalated it to the next logical step. But if the cops caught Mizue-chan stealing, that'd be bad news. She'd have a police record, and her name in all the papers. To be honest, it was only a matter of time. She had her whole life ahead of her. Now how could that happen to someone so young? And on the other hand, you've got me. A guy who totally burned out. A guy who couldn't be further from Florence Nightingale. Better a saint like Mizue-chan stay at the hospital than a sack of shit like me, wouldn't you say? Namba? Are you telling me you... Yeah. I went up and confessed to the whole thing. Stealing, selling and all. And that's how you lost your nursing license? Yep. No, oh, and I got fired too. Naturally. Man, you went all out for that girl. Did she ever contact you after that? Even a call or a letter? Not that I'm aware. In a matter of hours, I was out of a job and out on the streets. You regret any of it? Well, my brother disappeared not long after. So even if I didn't get canned, I would have quit on my own anyway. So, no, to answer your question. Though I do have to admit, I would like to see Mizue-chan off when she goes overseas. She's going overseas? Yeah. She always dreamed of running off to some developing country where they really need medical professionals. She took that Nightingale shit seriously. Our hospital had an international dispatch program available to staff nurses with at least three years tenure. This year would be Mizue-chan's third. And I know she would take advantage of it. Well, in that case, why not go say farewell? <laughs> if only I could. For starters, I don't even know when she leaves. Maybe if you ask one of your old nurse buddies, they'll tell you? Don't be ridiculous. I'm the little rat who stole the medicine, if you forgot that detail. They want nothing to do with me. Well, hello, boys. Don't worry, the life of the party's here. <laughs> Care to bring me up to speed? Oh, Sachan. Wait, are you drunk? <laughs> 
I think you're drunk. Uh, now, fill me in, if you please. Oh, Namba here was going off on one of his hobo horror stories again. Hobo horror stories? Well, no house means no toilet, right? Care to guess what he had to do when he had the shits? Yeah, I'd rather not. And here I was, thinking I'd get actual substance out of two grown men instead of literal crap. <sighs> Thanks for covering for me. I got you, man. I don't mind if we let Sayako know at some point, but preferably not when she's plastered. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Hamago-san? What's all this? Didn't I tell you? I'm decluttering. <laughs> I lugged all this out here by myself. Oh, I'm beat. I was hoping you big, strong men might do the rest. You buying new futons or something? Business must be good. Wait, there's no one here. Where are the girls? They all quit. What? I'm closing up shop. Huh? Uh. Eugene Show Revitalization Shelter. It's a facility in Hamakita Park. Bleach Japan set it up. Girls from the industry and their families can live there free of charge. For free? Damn. And all your girls went there? Sure did. Why wouldn't they? The facility's offering job training and legal help with visas. No better place for girls like them who don't have citizenship. And Bleach Japan is behind this whole operation? Yeah, they're being useful for once. They're gonna open more just like it, too. And they even offered to buy my place and turn it into a shelter. But then what are you going to do? This place is your bread and butter, isn't it? Oh, they thought of that. They gave me a job at the shelter. I'm gonna be the dorm mother. Oh, it's good pay, and perfect for a feisty old gal like me. Gotta say, I'm coming around on these do-gooders. Come on, Hamako-san. Don't you remember what they put you through? Sure, they were annoying. Bunch of kids tramping around, shouting shit they heard in prep school. But hey, now they're putting their money where their mouth is. It wasn't just a bunch of whining. They actually did something about it. And apparently the shelters were Ryo Aoki's idea. I have to say, it's pretty damn genius of him. Not to be a downer, but don't you think he's basically just buying votes? Once the election is over, I bet you he's gonna forget all about these shelters. Yeah, seriously. Politicians pull this shit all the time. You don't know him. You can't just assume he's like that. Besides, you got some better option for my girls? Any spare rooms you'll let them live in? I'll have you know, Aoki-san came all the way out to a gene chart today. Wait, he's in town? He's attending Ogasawara-san's funeral. See? That shows he's a good guy. The guy who's got a million things on his plate, but still carves out time for a friend. You've got no business bad-mouthing him when you don't even know him. The young master. Here, in the Eugene Show. You gonna go see him? Yeah. There's stuff I want to ask him about. Me too. Like what his connection to Horonouchi is. You guys are nuts. Well, what's your plan? Stroll up and demand a meeting with the most powerful man in Tokyo? Oh, funerals are easy to sneak into. Everyone's too polite to ask questions. Why are you supporting this lunacy? Sorry, Hamako-san. But do you mind if I get rid of your trash some other day? What's wrong with now? <laughs> There's just this thing I gotta take care of. Fine. Just don't leave me hanging, okay? <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. So does anyone know where this funeral is? If it's any Jincho, it's gotta be at the morgue on Central. That's where Nonomiya's funeral was. Oh, yeah. All right. 
Let's roll on over there. Ogasawara kun. I remember the day we met like it was yesterday. Nice. There's still time. Hey, let us through. We're here to pay our respects. Hey, are you with Bleach Japan? No, but we knew Ogasawara. Not good enough. The ceremony's just for family and Bleach Japan members. Well, maybe they'll let us light some incense. <laughs> they aren't even allowing journalists like me in. This monitor is all we get. Today, we celebrate Ogasawara-kun's memory. We do so here in Ijincho, the city of his heart and soul. You, more than anyone, yearn to see this city reborn. It was only six months ago that you came here with your family. And I remember how eager you were to change this town for the better. It became your passion in life. But one cannot truly care about a city until they become one of its people, which is why I was so moved when you chose to reside in Ijincho. There is no greater tragedy than the dreams we leave behind in death, and yours were bigger than most ever dared. I know this as your classmate in our youth, as your peer who shared your ambitions, but most of all, simply as a friend, you left too soon. This is truly, truly a great loss. And so, what choice do we have but to face the future without you? We look to Kumekun, the protege to whom you entrusted so much. He has stepped forward to carry on your dream. And is there any greater honor than when, in our passing, someone else picks up the torch where we left it? You and I always believed we could help people find their way together. Which is why, in the coming election, I will throw the entirety of my support behind Kume. I say this not as the Citizens' Liberal Party chair, but for you, Ogasawara Kun, as your friend who would see your dream come true. I swear to do everything in my power to bring your dream, Free Jincho, to fruition. That is the least I can do for you, my old friend. Rest now, and smile down on us from heaven. Son, we will continue your work for you. Just listen to this governor. He really cares. He's in more grief than anyone here, and he still gave a speech. Strong man given a strong eulogy. If Aoki really did order Ogasawara's death, well, then he's quite the actor. Bastard's grooming Kume for political office. What the hell is his plan? Hey, there he is. Let's move. How many seats is the Citizens Liberal Party targeting this cycle? Any comment? Alkisan, should we take your statement today as a campaign launch announcement? Any comment at all? Just a soundbite, Alkisan. Clear the way. What's your motive for holding a new election? Hey, don't push. I said don't push. All right, folks, let him through. Let him through. Alki. Hey, Governor Alki. That's <sighs> no good. Can't even get close. Let's head him off. How? It's not like the governor took a train here. He's got to have a car nearby. Sure, but how are you going to find it? Check every parking spot in the neighborhood? You know, I once read in some tabloid that celebrities park underground to avoid the paparazzi. Aoki probably uses the same strategy, don't you think? Yeah, that's a thought. Any underground lots around here? Yeah, there's a big one. Its entrance is by the river. 
Great. Let's check it out. For real? Go. Yeah. <laughs> 
all the fun and games yet? Here we go. Make sure you lose our help. You can win. Boys and girls. Okay. Copy that. We'll be ready to move out right away. Start the car. The governor's en route. Bingo. You were right on the money, Sachan. Let's do this. Stop! Identify yourselves! What are you doing here? Chill out, fellas. I just want to talk to the governor. Not a chance! Get back! Code Red, we got trespassers! Mr. Governor, this way! Trespassers? Don't make assumptions, pal. Then who are you? Are you media? We're fans of the governor. We just want to shake his hand, okay? Not right now. Please? Come on. You can't! We'll just take a second. The governor ain't got time. Take a walk, Jack. Take a walk, Jack? <laughs> you from Kansai? You got a problem with that? You're Omi. I don't hear you denying it. Wow. A governor employing Yakuza as his bodyguards. Unreal. Shut up. I'm a civilian working security. Speaking Kansai don't automatically make someone Omi. You damn smart ass. Oh, you're angry I assumed something? You assumed we were trespassers. Because that's what you are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just calm down now. 
Why don't you do yourself a favor and step aside? If not, we'll have to... Freeze! Whoa, easy. That's quite the weapon you got there. I was only gonna ask for a light, man. <laughs> Why's a local security guard packing something like that, anyway? <sighs> Asshole! I'm about to shoot you just because you're annoying! With the safety on? Huh? <clears throat> gotcha, fucking rookie. <laughs> you think I'm playing, you dried up sack? They want to fight? Let's give them a bloodbath! Show me what you got! Right. Nine years now! Over here! What have you done? Uh, Mr. Governor. Can't you tell the difference between thugs and law-abiding citizens? What's wrong with you? Uh, sorry, sir. We are terribly sorry about this. Do you need medical attention? I never thought I'd see the day when my own guards hurt a citizen. I'm just glad I saw the scuffle in the rearview mirror. Please, let me help you up. Sir. Tonight, go to Orohime Land alone. I'll do the same. It's such a relief that none of you were hurt. Please accept my sincere apologies for all of this. I'd also like to apologize on behalf of my guards. I'll be giving them a strict lecture later. But for now, I must ask that you excuse me. I'm late for an appointment. Listen. Yeah.
Hey. Hold on. Yo. Okay. The mass killer was seen over this way. So he's real after all. talking about I just want to talk get in my way and you'll pay hey hold up damn it all right if it's a fight you want Calm down yet? Jeez, you can't just be flinging blood around like that. Blood is fine. But I need more practice. Damn, this guy's a freak. He's not even satisfied with his kill streak. I should call Saito. You said you found the murderer? Yeah, I got him. Oh, I, I can't believe he really exists. We should reveal his face. Hmm? Huh? No freaking way. You're the heir to GA's meats. Wait, meats? Yeah. See that butcher shop there? That's GA's meats. He's the son of the owner. His name's G.A. The store's named after him. Supposedly, he's going to inherit the shop one day. 
What are you doing out here? I'm not a good butcher. So I was practicing. And wanted to be a moon. Oh yeah. I remember his old man saying something like that. I seem to recall him complaining about how his son makes a bloody mess of the place every time he tries to use his knife. So let me get this straight. He was going out alone in this crazy mask to practice cutting up his meat in peace? Sure seems like it. Next thing you know, somebody takes his picture and he's all over the internet. Well, it might not have been a thing if it weren't for the freaky ass mask. Does it put you in the mood for slicing or something? Keep the blood off my face. I used to play amateur hockey. Oh, sure. So there wasn't a mass killer after all, huh? Oh man, sorry about that. All that investigation, it turns out it's just some guy from the shopping district. Appreciate you looking into it, though. Why don't you take this for your trouble? Well, I'm just glad we figured it out. It was nothing but a bunch of BS. But you've got to stop freaking people out, G.A. son. Yeah, I'm sorry. We'll be sure to practice in my room next time. Well, now that I know there's no murder around, <laughs> I think I can start sleeping well again. Maybe I'll get a drink on my way home. Care to join me, G.A. son? Okay. All right, that's one. How about you, Kasuka-san? Nah, I'll pass. Maybe next time. Sure, no problem. Okay, let's go, G.A. Case closed, I guess. I'm sure the rumors will work themselves out soon. Wait, if he's going to a bar still wearing that mask... Ah, it's the mask killer! Hey, wait! It, it's not what it looks like! He was just practicing his meat cutting! It'll take a little longer than soon. Hey. Hey. Listen. Young master. You were born in a dump much like this one, weren't you? It's been a while, young master. I figured you'd want to see me. I know what you want to ask. Why did I change my name? Why am I a politician? Why did I help destroy the Tojo clan? And, are you curious about my lack of a wheelchair these days? You actually willing to explain any of it? I am. My condition was cured in America. I got a lung transplant. Did you know that if you drop a stack of cash into the right palm over there, 
You can buy an organ? Incredible. But even with deep pockets, nothing is simple for the son of a Yakuza boss. That why you changed your name? Yes. I did it because I was born the son of Masumi Arakawa. And because my condition robbed me of the youth everyone else got to have. I was happy to change my name and start a new life separate from all of that. <laughs> and look at the results. I'm not only the governor, but also the chair of the ruling party. <sighs> What's wrong? You can't bring yourself to congratulate me? Not from the heart, no. Are you even happy as a politician? Politics is a good life. Unlike the Yakuza, you don't have to use violence to assert control. I can improve people's lives, and they're grateful to me for it. You think Ogasawara's grateful? You killed him. <laughs> oh, that... That was just a sensible precaution. Man, listen to yourself. <laughs> Come on. After you kidnapped him, he ran his mouth about Bleach Japan, did he not? He was never much for discretion. He swore to me that he didn't tell you anything, of course. But I could see the truth in his eyes. That sealed his fate. So, you just kill people over an assumption? Without even bothering to check? I'm checking now. Did he tell you the secrets of Bleach Japan or not? Well, that's... I mean... See? Proper risk management is all about mitigating threats before they... But he was your buddy! He helped you start Bleach Japan! Being at the top means you have to know when people are no longer... relevant. Like father, like son, right? My father looked after you for years. But when he had to, he cut you from the family. That's not how it went down! He asked me to go to prison to keep the whole Arakawa family safe! <laughs> you think that's why? Captain Sawashiro killed some guy who reported directly to the Tojo clan. If we had let Sawashiro get arrested, the Arakawa family would have had to own up to it, since they were lower on the ladder. <laughs> oh, Kasuga. Whether you went to prison or not, Sawashiro wasn't going to be arrested. You don't know that. Oh, but I do. Because Sawashiro didn't kill that guy in the first place. What? As I recall, that night was the last time I saw you. Yeah, that club in Kamurocho we went to, on New Year's Eve. Yeah, it was your girlfriend's birthday. Right. I've certainly had better nights. What? Young Master, how long have you been there? Um, young master? So, did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass.
Get up. You can't sleep here, you fucking drunk. Come on, move your ass. F fuck off, man. This building's my family's property. So clear out. Go on, go! <sighs> Yakuza. That means you're garbage. The fuck you say? <laughs> Don't touch me! You're a coward, you turf now, fool! In this town, let me go! Fear the Yakuza! I don't know what backwoods village you might be from, but you're about to learn about Kamurocho the hard way, motherfucker! <laughs> you think you're hot shit because you know how to hold a gun? Where'd you buy that thing, huh? Your local toy shop? Huh? You want me to pull the trigger, you son of a bitch? Do it if it's even a real gun. Go on. Do it! Come on! Fucking do it if you've got the balls! Can't do it, huh? That what the girls say about you too? <sighs> Little bitch like you ought to know better. Now, you're dead! <clears throat> Zero. I, I fucked up. I killed the guy. You're the one who killed Suzumori? Yes. I told Sawashiro what I did, then went home. Lucky for me, there were no witnesses. So I didn't go in Sawashiro's place. I went in your place. <laughs> That's right. Dad sold you to the law to protect his only son. <sighs> Obviously, he couldn't just tell you how it really happened. That's why he lied that you were taking the fall for Sawashiro. You swallowed the bait whole, and happily marched yourself to the station. So tell me, do you still trust the old asshole? <laughs> I can only imagine how you must feel. Doing 18 years of hard time would have been bad enough. But then there was the other event. After giving him such a huge portion of your life, you finally see him and... Bang. Right? <sighs> Must feel horrible even now. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Well, say something, Ichi. It doesn't matter what you say. I trust Arakawa-san. Then answer why are you in Ichincho? Couldn't tell you. Maybe because I'm Ichi Bad Kasuga. The guy who hits rock bottom but always crawls back up. I see. Even after all these years, somehow you've managed to stay just as dumb. It's kind of touching. Nostalgic, even. I can't even bring myself to be mad. 
What an honor. You know, I thought this meeting was gonna be a setup. But you came alone, like you promised. So I guess I'm touched too. What? You thought I'd have you killed? No. There's no sense in squishing an ant. I'll let you live. We do go way back, after all. But I do have one condition. Don't ever come near me or Dad again. Understand? Well, I've got my own condition. Pull out of Ichincho and get Kume to end his campaign. Pardon? I may not be cut out for politics, but Kume sure as hell ain't either. Actually, the Citizens' Liberal Party agrees with you. Kume is ignorant and inexperienced. If he didn't have our support, he'd lose for sure. Then why are you having him run? <laughs> so everyone can see my value. Uh, what? Think about it. If Kume wins, how will the Citizens' Liberal Party react? They'd realize that an endorsement from Rio Aoki can turn entire elections, even in favor of a simpleton. It will be crystal clear that I have the skill and influence to replace Ogikubo. They'll watch and learn. So, Kume's just a tool to you. An election is nothing more than a game of strategy. Are these Ijinjo revitalization shelters part of your game too? Oh, those. <laughs> those are the most useful tools of all. With them, I can round up all the illegal residents at once. Wait, what? I thought the shelters were helping people get visas. <laughs> Don't be absurd. The people going to them would never qualify for visas. The shelters will bust them to the Immigration Bureau, where they'll be deported. For real? You're lying to them right to their faces? I'm not lying. The shelter's purpose is there in its name. It's revitalizing Ijincho by cleansing it of criminals, said earlier. The only reason you're still alive is because I took pity on you. If I stop pitying you, you don't have much left. What the hell is this? I thought the young master set him alone. That makes you a fool for believing him when he said it. And for a change. <laughs> Guys, why are you here? Just get out of the damn way! <laughs> The infield missed a few grounders. Time to call up the reserves. Let's give Captain Sawashiro a show. Break through him! Right. Cool. Yeah. Ah. Ah. 
games yeah Isn't this all a little much just to take me out? Come on! Maybe it is. But then again, you did survive being shot. So taking precautions makes sense. So this here's the guy who took a bullet from the cap. Thought you'd have some meat on you, But you're kind of scrawny, ain't ya? <laughs> Don't get cocky. Make sure he dies here. In that case, how about we draw and quarter him? <laughs> No way he pulls out of that one, eh? <laughs> Do what you must. <laughs> Ever seen a tuna carving? Get ready for the human version. Then ship it to you tomorrow. Just do it right. You leaving? Scared? No. I just don't want any of your blood on my suit. So you're still the type to leave all the dirty work to your peons. Guess after all these years, you didn't learn shit from Arakawa-san. You never shut up about the boss. I've always hated that. Let him say what he wants, boss. <laughs> Poor little shit only has a couple of minutes to live. No, that's enough talk. Kill him already. <laughs> Let's start the dissection! Oh, 
saying you were going to put my head in a box and ship it to the captain? I'm sure he'll be surprised to see your head in there then. I was really gross. Are all Omi Alliance dudes like that? They're the biggest Yakuza group in the country. I'm sure they have even crazier guys. And that's what's flooding into Ijincho? Great! Ichiban! Hamako-san? Is something wrong? I was just at the shelter. The shelter? I was taking something to one of the girls. She forgot it at my place. But... But they were all gone. None of the staff would tell me where they went. I don't know what's going on. Calm down, Hamako-san. Please, help me find them. Hey, I'm really, really sorry. But they aren't in Japan anymore. What? The shelter was just a trap for mass deportations. No! Those girls, they don't have anyone to help them in the countries they came from. That's why they came to a Jincho in the first place. I just wanted... I just wanted to give them a chance. How did this happen? Oh, no! 
It's not your fault. You did what you thought was best for them. He's right. Don't blame yourself. You were on their side until the end. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> God damn it. I told Hamako-san to get some rest. Thanks, Sachan. Ijin Cho just keeps taking hit after hit. Remember what Jungi Han said? That we should basically get out of here while we can? Maybe we should consider that, for real. You wanna run? I mean, isn't the situation kinda hopeless at this point? Hopeless, huh? Well, you got a place we can all go? Oh, uh, not off the top of my head, no. How about you, Adachi-san? Nope. I don't even have family to stay with. My parents died a long time ago. Psycho? I mean, I could leave, but I would never abandon my sister or my father like that. Sounds like we've settled that, then. Settled what? That none of us can run away from this. We're in the same boat as the Komi Jewel and the Liuma. So our only option is to fight, with or without hope. And personally, I say there is hope. How? How is there a chance of winning? It doesn't matter. A long time ago, Arakawa-san told me something. If you go into a fight thinking you got a chance to win, you're just being a bully. Uh, what the hell? Not gonna lie, that sounds kind of stupid. Hell no. A real fight's when you go up against someone so strong, you got no chance. Our enemies are the Omi Alliance and the Citizens Liberal Party. The crime lords from below are teaming up with the law from above. And I say bring it on. We're going up against all of Japan, basically. Too much for you, Adachi-san? Going soft on me? <laughs> Don't be stupid. I couldn't ask for a better fight. Let's do it. But can we include Tokyo PD in that law part so I can kick their asses too? Hell yeah. Put them on the list. Good enough for me. You guys are ridiculous. You know that, right? <laughs> Tell me about it. But... Admit it, you like that about us. Yeah. What is my damage? Nanba, Sachan! Join us, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can skip the pep talk. <laughs> That's why I keep you guys around. You sure, Namba? Your brother's okay now, and he's getting married. What skin do you have in the game? I yeah, know I've been a bud. But if my friends are gonna fight, so will I. I'm all in now. Besides, it'll make for a great speech at my brother's wedding. That settles it. Let's knock them on their asses. <laughs> 